so just on my way home, uh, we did uh, two pianos today. The first piano needed a uh, lubrication uh, for one of the action parts. They needed uh, some buffering because the, the pin on the jack, uh, the adjustment pin on the spring, was uh, was touching uh, the material. Uh, it was quite dense, and it was hitting. It was making a lot of it was making a lot of uh, noise. Clicking and it, it sounded quiet outside the piano. You can see in some of the shots that you can kind of hear it. But then when you put it inside the piano, uh, after after putting talc on that part. Seems to be working really well, actually. Uh, it was silent. The okay, piano was silent. It's a brand new action. It was rich tone. La petite. The noise I had it was because uh, it, uh, some of the action parts. Clear tone. So it just shows that sometimes something sounds really quiet outside the piano and it took me a long time to find it. But uh, if you get the right part uh, uh, that, and you put it, if it's clicking and you put it in the piano, the soundboard amplifies the click so it's like really, it's louder than it should be. And the next thing that I did. Uh, was to uh, adjust the back checks, which is the part that stops the hammer when it travels down. If you don't have them adjusted correctly, the hammer hits the string, it bounces back down, and it just kind of like the weight of the bounce back down can is not very good. I don't think for the action. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I don't think that's very good for the action. So the back check's designed to catch the hammer on the way down and take and take some of the blow out of the from the hammer. Uh, and obviously that wears the time because it's, it's scraping away at the back check, so you have to change them every, every... But you have to change other parts faster, it's not the most worn part. The other thing that uh, um, I did was tune the... A technician, not just a tutor, but someone can, that can look on the inside and see what he's fixing. Uh, I'm not the best tuner technician in the world, but uh, I can see the main signs of a damage and uh, I can save you the time if you're in Houston or if you're further afield. Just try to contact a local PTG in the USA or PTA in the UK member. Thank you for watching.